Today we're going to talk about the dimensional weight of gluten-free malt. We here at Gluten-Free Home Brewing contend with the dimensional weight of gluten-free malts every day as it affects how much of which malt we can pack into a box before shipping it to a customer. You are probably more concerned about how much malt you can fit into your mash tun. We recently brewed with a friend using his equipment and our friend asked us if the grain bill would fit in his mash tun. Well, we did the math and said the answer to his question was yes, it would fit. To our credit, the grain bill did fit in the mash tun, but just barely. It did not leave room for the auto sparge to operate correctly as we filled the mash tun to the very top. In each of these pint glasses are exactly one half pound or eight ounces of malt by weight. As you can see, the volume or dimensional weight of the different malts vary. Beginning with millet malt, buckwheat malt, hulled rice malt, and dehulled or naked rice malt. There are several factors that attribute to the dimensional weight of gluten-free malt, but the only factor that the maltster has any control over is the moisture content. Each style of malt may contain different amounts of moisture. Typically, darker roasts have the lowest moisture content and weigh less than the lighter roasted malt. Therefore, the darker the roast, the more dimensional weight or volume the malt may have. Generally, the difference in dimensional weight of all of the millet malts or all of the rice malts are reasonably similar. The subtle differences you see here today may be greater when working with a full grain bill. There are two malts that we would like to discuss in greater detail. Pale rice malt is available as both hulled and dehulled or naked. Eckert Malting and Brewing began to offer their naked malt for breweries that wanted to reduce the dimensional weight of the grain bills, which are many times greater than that of a home brewer. We later worked with Eckert Malting and Brewing to determine the grain to hull ratio, which is approximately 62.5% grain to 37.5% hull by weight. We have found that oftentimes the specialty malts, such as biscuit, amber, or crystal rice malt, just to name a few, provides most if not all of the rice hulls needed for the mash. This means you can use naked pale rice malt that can be milled finer and may improve efficiency and conversion. In our next video blog, we're going to take a closer look at milled malt. We will discuss and show examples of how the naked malt can be milled finer as compared to the hulled rice malt. We will also show examples of milled millet and buckwheat, although their hull is different than that of rice malt, does attribute to the circulation and filtration during the match. Thanks for watching and happy brewing.